This is a spool and I will show you very interesting things about its motion. Uh, let me explain in the diagram first. We have a spool which has inner radius of R. So let me go to the board. This is a spool having inner radius R and outer radius capital R. We have a thread and it is tied to the inner part of the spool that is at the small radius r and we are applying a force and this force can be applied at various angles now interesting thing let us see actually practically and then we'll come back again to the board now when i apply let me is this is table is not actually flat there's a slight problem here anyway this is stable right now and i'm not applying any force now let me bring thread to a particular angle theta and in my case theta critical I'll explain what is theta critical is about 60 degrees so if I make angle greater than 60 degrees say this is greater than 60 degrees and I now start applying force it will move in backward direction see it is moving in backward direction and now I bring it back again and now I apply force with at an angle say 45 degree or which is less than 60 degree and now I apply force it starts moving forward so it can move forward backward depending upon this angle theta and there is one particular angle at which that is theta critical that is 60 degree at which it is just stable this must be 60 in my case and if I increase the force slightly at this angle it starts sliding see it is sliding in the other two this is sliding there is no rolling and in the other two cases this is pure rolling backwards if I increase the angle pure rolling forward uh, sorry if I decrease the angle forward increase the angle backward decrease the angle forward increase the angle backward and at one particular angle as I showed it, it starts slipping now let me show you the calculation now in this let us take any general case and let us assume that it is moving in forward direction with pure rolling so this is the direction of motion so when there is a pure rolling say suppose it is moving with an acceleration a naturally the angular acceleration has to be in this direction now you see the torque applied by this force cannot give you this angular acceleration in this direction direction in clockwise so there has to be some force which gives it rotational motion with alpha in clockwise direction and that comes from the friction force so it has to be in this direction now you can straight away write the calculation and I'll just jump direct to the calculation these are the calculations for clockwise motion I explained the basic concept why f was taken backwards and you see the relationship we get is if cos theta is greater than r upon r the motion is clockwise if cos theta is less than r upon r the motion is anti-clockwise and if cos theta is r upon r it is theta and I'll show you very very interesting thing right now first let me show you another interesting aspect this is the graph of cos theta and say this is value which is r upon r this is theta critical when theta critical when theta is greater than theta critical the motion will be anti-clockwise this is anti-clockwise region and this is clockwise region because in the clockwise region the cos value of cos theta is greater than r upon r but value of theta has to be less than theta critical theta critical is r upon r so this is the region of clockwise motion so you, you saw as I decrease the angle theta and let me show you again for lower angles of theta it is moving forward and for the larger angles of theta it is moving backward this is lower angle forward and the larger angle in fact if it is 90 certainly it moves backwards and lower angle it moves forward and so this is the derivation at lower angles it is moving clockwise means moving forward rotating clockwise moving forward and at the larger angles it is rotating anti-clockwise means it is moving backward 
and the most interesting part is this if you draw a line from this contact point as a tangent to the inner radius this is the angle of theta critical so if it is greater it is in one direction if it is less as i show you when theta is less it is moving clockwise it moves clockwise means when theta is less if in this part it moves forward and in this part it moves backwards so this is the point of contact and you draw a tangent this angle theta will be cos theta will be r upon r so this was the interesting part i hope it helps